145. Let's say your name is, oh, I don't know, Gonzalo. Gonzalo scored about a what? Mm. Gonzalo scored 100. And then who else do we have? Fashionette. Fashionette scored a 130. And who else do we have? Who? Let's say we had um, anybody want to volunteer? Maybe we'll just pick a name. Let's just make one name up. Tom. Tom scored 90. Uh, Tom scored maybe what, an 80? Tom scored 80. How do we create, first of all, well, let's, let's, let's do this. On the standard scale, what does Yowsdy get as a grade? She has an A. Is that true? And she's happy. How about Gonzalo? What does he get? A D, okay. Fashionette, and then Tom. Fantastic, okay. That's the standard scale. Now, let's look at the curve scale. How do you guys generate the curve scale? What's in the center? <coughs> What's the average test score? What is it? 115. Is that true? How do you know? Shoulders. What are these two boundary values? You add what? What do you add to 115 to get this value? 115 plus what? 25. What is that? What is it? 115 plus 25 is? 140. Good. 115 minus 25. 90. 90, okay. And then these values here, it's 115 plus twice the standard deviation, which is, is that 165? What's 115 minus? Okay, 60. Is it 65? 115 minus 50? 65. I just want to note here, I'm going to point this out so you guys know where this comes from. This is 115 plus 25, the standard deviation. 115 minus 25, the standard deviation. This is 115 plus 50, twice the standard deviation. 115 minus 50, twice the standard deviation. We're creating the curved scale where the center here is where all the C's live, and then the B's, A's, D and all the what? Fantastic. OK, you guys OK with this? This is the curve scale. So tell me now, how does Yao's D feel if we use the curve scale here to get a curved grade? Yao's how do you feel? Why not? What is your, where does Yowzi, guess what she gets? Yowzi gets a what? She gets a B. She's upset because on the standard scale, she would have got a what? And then she's getting a B now on the curve scale. How does Gonzalo feel? Why is Gonzalo happy? Because on the curve scale, what did he get? He's, he's here, he's 100. He's in what range? The C range. Fashionette. What's her story? What does she get? Is she happy? No. What about Tom? What does Tom get? Anybody know what Tom gets? Why does Tom get a D? 80 is between 65 and 90. Is that true? This is where Tom's score is. 
you get to D. So here's what's happening. This is just an example of what the curve score can do. And it kind of it usually does this. What it does is it creates what? What does it do to everybody? What does it do? OK, you can say that by what you see. People who have scored higher on the standard scale now get a lower score. People who have scored lower on the standard scale now get a higher score. Do you guys want to know what kind of what the curve does? This is just an example, but it usually behaves this way. Do you want to know what the curve kind of does to people? It makes them all pretty much what? The same. That's what the curve does. It kind of puts your scores kind of together. Now notice this. On the curve scale, is it ever possible to get an A? Can you get an A on the curve scale? Why not? <laughs> you don't have enough points possible. The best you could do is 150. The A's start at greater than 165. You can't get an A, meaning there are no A's. See what I'm saying? And at big universities, especially in science courses, they grade on a what? Curve. Always, always, always they grade on a curve. And what they do is they'll make the test super hard so that, guess what will happen? Every, the mean will be kind of low. Consistency will be what it is. But the effect is that nobody pretty much gets a what? Gets an A. The best in some of those courses you could do is a B. You know, and the good news is, well, nobody really get, may not get a fantastic. The worst you could do is about a D. So what they do is they try to see where all of you are in relation to one another. That's what the curve does because it factors in the it uses the center and how consistent the scores are. How everyone does in relation to one another. The criteri criteria there is that to get in the school, they, they require a certain things to be satisfied. You have to be a certain type of student just to get in. So they're trying to really weed out the people who are really out here from the rest of the group. Okay? And very often, you may not even get an A. The best you can do is a B. And a lot of people might, you know, a lot of people will pass, they'll get C's. Um, but it affects your GPA. So you may have somebody at a big university who has a GPA of 3.1 or something. That could be a very good GPA. See what I mean? Because the high GPAs may not even be possible because of the nature of the curve. So whenever you ask your instructors now from now on, hey, do you grade on a curve? First of all, you're going to know what that means. What does it mean? A curve is based on what? The mean and the standard deviation, the center and the consistency. OK, you guys OK with this? You sure? You're positive? You're going to be able to answer, um, when's our first test? It's next week? Nice. Nice, OK. You can turn it off now, Eddie. All right, let's talk about what's going to be on your test. Let's give you some homework. No.